Hey there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Glowforge project. Today, I wanted to try my own version of the pins that hold things down. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends. So, this is the original Glowforge honeycomb pin that I have been using for quite a while. And as you can see, there are all kinds of little pin carcasses because the material I used doesn't always last. And I'm not blaming it on the pins, I'm blaming it on my material, but what I wanted to do was create one that was 3D printed and then instead of sliding it all the way in the pin or sliding it all the way in the honeycomb part, I wanted one that opened up and went around two pieces of the honeycomb or the frame. So let me show you how that turned out. So with a traditional honeycomb pin, it goes inside the groove. So the version that I just created instead goes around the edges. When you first use them, they're a little bit snug, but there you can see I've got it in and it locks my cardboard in place just like you'd expect it to. All right, so I think my favorite part of this whole project is that I'm going to put this on Thingiverse so you could download and print it. But also, I'm going to give you a link to the actual project in Tinkercad. You'll be able to disassemble it, adjust it, and make it as awesome as you want, and come up with something maybe that you can find super handy. So, friends, as I mentioned, this is the pin, and this is Tinkercad. You can get here by just doing www.tinkercad.com. The trick is you want to search for the file I just created for you. The way to find it would be to type Glowforge, bed, and then pin. When you search it, uh, eventually, hopefully, you can sort by likes. Right now, I'm going to sort by latest because I will be one of the newer ones. And here you can find it. You can help other people find it by giving it a like with this button right here because the more likes it has, the more it'll show up. Once you get to it, you can hit Tinker This and it will actually launch on your screen. You can see that is how easy it is to make. These are millimeters. So if we just click on the shape, you can see that I chose 21.82 millimeters across. And then I just cut a little sliver. You can adjust this any way you want. You can ungroup it and see how I made it. It is not brain surgery. It was just little parts stuck together as I made the design that I wanted. And then once you're done, you group it and you can export it for 3D printing or laser cutting. I have not tried it on a laser cutter, but you can try that if you'd like to see it there. So friends, if you create a cooler one, make sure you share it with others, and I'd love to see the cool things you come up with as we have fun creating with our Glowforge. Alrighty friends, so if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.